The Capstone program course sequence is a holistic engineering design experience very closely modeled to what they may see in industry. It's multidisciplinary, so the teams involve more than one discipline, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, some industrial engineers and some chemical engineers. It is a team operation and exercise, so there are opportunities to exercise leadership. Uh, they have to learn teamwork, they have to deal with interpersonal uh, challenges, and they also have to deal with project management. The logistics, uh, uh, staying within a budget, having a timeline and, and sticking to it, uh, and in general, managing the whole uh, project. So all the theory we've learned, all the math we've learned, um, we're now using that to design something and not only design and perform the analysis on it, but then manufacture and see if it does or does not work. The projects are actually um, presented to us during the first week of school and uh, we can choose our first or second or third choice and the project is then assigned. So they go through maybe about 40 projects and you just kind of choose which one you want to do. Yes, and this was my first choice. We're working on a 3D printed chemical microreactor that will be used to synthesize an intermediate that's used in Prozac. So we're not making Prozac, <laughs> but we're making a chemical that's used in Prozac. But the real name is Hybrid Manufacturing Systems for Axisymmetrical Components. And what we'll do, we'll actually take a welding machine and integrate it with a robot and then have a lathe, which is autonomous, a CNC lathe, and we'll integrate them together and actually have make, make a part using the additive and the subtractive process. My project specifically is for Royal Martin. We are designing a tape applicator for one of their products. So we're designing an all-inclusive device that will not only dispense the tape and apply a certain pressure, but also collect the backing and um, keep the job site clean. We are actually developing an iPhone case for uh, Shell. So Shell employees want to use their iPhones within the processing units where they work. But to get into those areas, the iPhones actually have to be intrinsically safe, which means sealed from the outside atmosphere and very drop resistant to a certain degree. So we're making a phone case to meet that standard. We're trying to integrate a polymer extrusion system, so a 3D printer, with a mini mill. So that way we can perform additive and subtractive manufacturing in one system. If you were to go and you know just buy a desktop hybrid, it's called hybrid manufacturing system, it could cost you over a million dollars. But with this, you're able to do a retrofit and save uh, so much money. You know, I think it's like a $60,000 change to the machine. And then you can use existing equipment that you already have and upgrade it by implementing this technology. What we've designed is an apparatus that will cryogenically freeze water within pipes. And then following freezing the pipes, we're going to test the material strength of the pipe. We are wire arc additive manufacturing, which to put simply is using a MIG welding gun and a robotic arm, um, combine them to program and to create a 3D printer where we can now print in steel and aluminum. I like the confidence that I've gained throughout this project. Um, mechanical engineering was definitely a rigorous experience for me. It's not something that came very naturally. And I've really enjoyed being a part of a team and using all of our strengths to come to a common goal. So it's really made me confident in my major choice, in my mechanical engineering choice. It's made me confident um, in my decision and it's made me excited for the real world. Being an electrical and stepping into a mechanical environment and learning how to use their tools, learning how to design, learning how to build. Like I didn't have that knowledge from an electrical standpoint, but I was able to grasp it and use what I learned in building an actual machine by hand. We manufactured everything ourselves. The only thing we bought was the materials. So the actual putting together was our bare hands. So trying to design an apparatus, design, an, design a test system and Making sure that all of the pieces work together and staying within the budget was definitely a challenge, but we learned a lot about keeping the budget within consideration. You know, this isn't something that just the average Joe gets to do. You know, I've been super blessed in being able to get, be, be put on this project and learn this awesome technology and get, you know, my elbows deep in it and just kind of test and break things and figure things out and take risks. And I think it's gonna make me a better engineer and it's really gonna help me in my future career um, you know, this is the kind of the, the path that I want to take with my career and I'm getting that hands-on experience already and learning that process so early on before I even step foot on the, in the job. I'm doing it because I love it. You know, it's, it's not about the grade anymore. It's more about just 
you know, I want to see it work. And you fall in love with the project. And that's kind of where I'm, I'm addicted to this project. And it's all I think about. It's, it's literally, you know, I go to sleep thinking about how I can improve one part of it. And I wake up with an idea. You know, I have dreams about it. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. I, I love the Capstone project. The diversity of projects that we are able to offer the students, which is a very important factor in their education, would not be possible if we didn't have industry sponsors that both propose projects, but also financially support them.